The idea behind it in a nutshell is that uh, we want to be able to bring in MySpace communications into Facebook. So there's a lot of Facebook users out there that originally started off on MySpace and migrated later on. And a good proportion of those people actually still get communications on MySpace that they're interested in. So uh, instead of them having to you know, go deal with the chaos that is MySpace, uh, we thought it would be good if we could bring those communications right into the confines of their Facebook account for them. Uh, so without further ado here, I'm going to get started with the demo. Uh, so after you've installed Fuser, you get uh, on your profile page, you'll get this little uh, nifty box here. Uh, this basically is kind of a display of your top five comments on MySpace in this area right here. And then at the top here, we have what we call the communications leaderboard, which is going to be showing the top three posters of comments on your MySpace account by the number of posts that they made. Uh, so if I click on the check MySpace from Facebook link there, I'll get the Canvas page. Uh, on the Canvas page here, we've got the three tabs, comments, messages, and bulletins. So those are the three types of MySpace communications that we currently aggregate. And basically, you can just uh, view all of your communications right here. Uh, so I can see all the comments on my, uh, on my uh, comment wall there in, in, in MySpace. I can reply to them if I want to. I can delete them so I can interact with them. Uh, so I've got a hello from Fusey here. I'll go ahead and reply to that. Give it a moment to come up. Come on, MySpace. Uh, so a little bit technical detail about the app. Basically, this is actually an iframe app. We didn't go with an FBML app, given the fact that we actually use a, uh, a client-side applet to do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of connecting to MySpace. Um, I'm not sure if MySpace is just being slow right now, or if, oh, there we go, finally. Uh, so we'll reply back to Fusey there. Send that. And basically, I've just sent a message through MySpace back to uh, back to Fusey. Uh, so basically, it's kind of just more of the same here. On the, on the Messages tab, I can see all of my messages from my MySpace inbox. I can open them and interact with them, interact with them the same way that I just did that comment there. Uh, bulletins work in a similar fashion. If I want to compose a new bulletin, I can. So I can say, hi, friends. Have anything to say? Post that as a bulletin. Fortunately, MySpace is not the fastest service in the world sometimes. Could you do some uh, like background threads since you're using an applet to sort of queue that up for you so the UI doesn't freeze up? Uh, actually, yeah, it is happening in the background. The only reason we kind of leave the UI in, a, in that status so the user knows that the post Something's actually gone hasn't gone out yet so that they don't switch away from the Canvas app, unload the applet, and <coughs> unwittingly exactly. interrupt their own post. Um, so, so really that's just about it. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty simple targeted app there. Uh, really the only other piece is the news feed. Uh, we do actually put an entry in your news feed so when you receive new comments on your MySpace account, you'll get an entry in your news feed for them. So where do you set up I didn't demo that, but basically when you first add the app and go to the Canvas page, it's going to prompt you for your MySpace credentials, so just your MySpace username and password. So does the app call MySpace directly, or does it call a server that goes out and scrapes MySpace? The, the applet that we load actually is calling MySpace directly from your box. Are you using the uh, Open Social API, or are you actually going? This was actually written before before MySpace published the Open Social API, so no, it's actually going out and um, basically scraping screens on MySpace to do and content. Are they okay with that, posts. or they don't know? 